Are we live? Are we live? Fantastic. All right. Let's continue, shall we? As soon as it's finished, it's loading. And by which I mean as soon as the save finishes loading. Alright, cool. Uh, we were just powering up our... Uh, coal mining drills. And we need to connect this to an accumulator. Just so that these bits of belt know uh, whether or not the accumulators are full. And since the minimum power consumption for coal mining drills is zero, uh, we don't need a power switch to power manage them. We can just stop the belt. Hey, Majagas. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And we're definitely going to need more, uh, not reach. Okay, there we go. We're definitely going to need more of these inserters to keep up. That should be way more than enough. Actually, some of them are getting to the last inserter. Although, I don't know if five of them would keep up, actually. They would. There should be a condition on these inserters, though, which is... Don't put anything in unless the rocket is ready to launch, space capsule and cargo rocket section-wise. Um... And now I guess we just wait. This is actually going to be full before the uh, rocket is fueled at this rate. Which leads me to think that maybe... Maybe we need more um, oil production here to not bottleneck on... Well... It looks like we're going to be bottlenecking on this oil over here anyway. Uh, I do have a bunch of speed modules and even... S I have one beacon remaining. We can change that. But... I could definitely speed up the pump jacks for starters. Let's head over this way. And I think... I may already have this covered by module inserter. Good. Okay then. Maybe we even need to tap some more oil in order to fuel the rocket quickly enough. Uh... Okay, actually, now that the belt has stopped being quite so saturated. No, it is 40 per second. So, rounding it down to exactly 40 per second uh, is 2.5 seconds per slot. 1250 seconds, uh, 20... Closer to 21 minutes in order to fully load this cargo rocket. Now, as for liquid rocket fuel, uh, we're bottlenecked on this thing. They're all speed modulated. What's the real rate of production of solid rocket fuel here? 
That's actually really hard to tell because we're consuming the fumes of both the light oil and the petroleum, but especially the petroleum. I didn't actually productivity module this thing. Which I probably should. But then it's going to slow down even more. Uh, we could double this whole thing, but I think we're going to run out of crude oil if we do that. Although, now we've got the crude oil coming in more than a little bit faster. We can actually get four of these under one beacon. That helps. Uh, there's not enough electricity. Let's connect it to the main grid. I didn't think we'd be needing oil this, uh, this fast overall. Is that connected? No, not even close. Oops, too fast. That'll do. And away go the... Wait, am I carrying big poles? Yes. Away go the spiders. That should get... Why are there two poles here again? That should get all of the poles placed. There goes another 100k oil. I think we might have to double this. Which is fine, I guess. I will need to salvage another beacon, though, in that case. Alright, so power should be connecting up right about now. Much better. And how much crude oil are we looking at here? 559 per second is not too bad, I should think. Considering this will only use 240 after I double it. Uh, we actually need two more beacons to support this. That's fine, I suppose. Is that... Yeah, that's... That's a perfectly good connection. We're going to need some more tanks. Our construction spiders may already be carrying them. And... Uh, as for the beacons... I think we'll salvage them from copper. Alright. So once they... Oh, that did have a request for productivity modules. Fair enough. So we do need some more tanks and... Pipe. And a little bit of blue belt, although I don't think this needs to be a blue belt, really. Let's bring the construction spiders back to the robot network. I'll go get some iron and steel. Um, that is still connected. Good. Whoops. I could probably make this go even further. Don't know how necessary that'll be. Don't 
need this one. Okay. Fight. Gun ground fight. Steel. And... How many of these are we missing? Three... Oh, that's right, we made a special deconstruction planner for this. Was it this one? Yeah, we need ten uh, storage tanks. So for that we need to pick up some more iron. Fantastic. Back down we go. And... Back down we go. The beacons should be in the spider's inventory. These spiders are a little bit slow. Whoops. There we go. Six, seven, eight, nine bits of blue belt. Theoretically. Where would I get that from? Over here? Actually, let's check the rate of all of this. Max rate of solid fuel is actually slightly above half a blue belt. We could put something here to balance them a bit, but we're not we're not gonna actually get that right. A hey, Creakly. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Let me just go swap this belt over here. Uh with our Upgrade planner. And... How full is our rocket? It's a lot more full of core fragments than it is liquid rocket fuel. I did go in here, didn't I? I'm pretty sure I did. Yeah, that's why I'm carrying a speed module tier 9. Oops. Back to where we need our uh, belts. And hopefully this will be enough to fuel our rocket at a more respectable speed. I should definitely put the other stuff that we want to take back with us into the rocket now. Uh, though I don't really see anything. I guess we could take the scrap back, but I'm not terribly excited about that. Uh, we should definitely place our umbrella somewhere. I'm thinking... Here, probably. Except we need to add a power pole for that. We can almost fit it in here, sort of. How about this? That's actually... There's water everywhere. Uh, I would like to have it kind of close to the... Media defense installations, because then all of our global defenses are in one place. Alright, we've finished building this. Fantastic. Oh, the bots are already building that. Cool. Except I do need to place the medium poles. We do have... Solid rocket... Uh, sorry, liquid rocket fuel coming through here. I thought I just saw everything stop power-wise for a second. I think it was the moment that we placed the um, 
umbrella. Yeah, that had to be it. Look at that spike. Alright, so we're still... We've still actually got plenty of power to spare. And... This is not in the middle of the day, either. Well... So now the only question is... If this can do 548 per second, it, it will go down over time. But I wonder if it's not sufficient that I've only doubled this. Um, we should get about four or so solid rocket fuel per second. Which will give us about 248 liquid rocket fuel. We can tell by the fact that this keeps stopping that we're not getting it that fast. But... Probably something like... 200? If it's 200 per second and we're looking for 432,000... Is 36 minutes. Okay. 36 minutes gives us the fuel to go back to Narvis. I guess it's not that surprising considering this is interstellar. Um, but more to the point, how long does it take? If it's 40 per second times 500, 20 minutes. So we are bottlenecking on refueling the cargo rocket to send the core fragments back as opposed to the core mining itself. A mass 420. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Speed modules in the pumps will help a ton. Yep, I've already got a few. Uh, we did beacon a few of these also. Um, I guess I'll take the beacons away from the little mining setups that we made. Point them remote at these. So let's go do that. I already stole those beacons. And this one. And this one. So that is one, two, three. Uh, it's actually only three beacons. I should just swap this one out while I'm still on this planet. If we've got three more of these beacons, we could definitely copy-paste this one more time, unless we're running out of refineries. Uh, I think we're going to be one short. I can definitely craft another one, though, right? I don't think the fuel refinery is that complicated. Okay. So, let's copy this down one more time. And connect this up like so. We're going to need more storage tanks. And... Uh, at this point, it may be getting close to the point where we need to get more brood oil instead of more processing for it. Because of the long distance from Nalvis, yes indeed. Make sure you leave bots here, because rockets will crash annoyingly often. That's not great. Uh, 
I suppose I might have to... I mean, I've set up... I, I've left a system here where I can add some stuff to be requested to, to the next launch. I could probably... Uh, stand to go to the trouble of actually setting up a... Actually, it'll be a little bit complicated to set up a automatic request system here that I manually put it in and it'll automatically get removed. But, yeah, maybe... If the rockets are going to crash land more often, maybe we should add some of these buildings uh, to the common requests. That's not complicated. This is a decent system, except for the fact that it needs one combinator per item. You could set it to if anything is below some amount, but... You couldn't really have different levels of requests and um, uh, like request thresholds for that. Okay. We're half full. Nowhere near half full with the fuel. I need a couple more tanks. And I need some more belt. I think we can definitely turn this much into red belt. And that'll give us enough blue. Are we missing anything else? Our one fuel refinery. Which we probably don't really need, to be honest. Yeah, I think just one of these fuel refineries here. If we're down to the point where everything's on fumes, that is... Should be enough to keep that going at full speed. But this is close enough, I guess. It takes a lot of handcrafting. Okay. Should I... I've still got 10 pump jacks. I could make some more, I guess. Um, I don't have any more rail. It would be a pain to pipe this all the way back. Do I really need barrel core fragments to be coming in that fast? I think for now all we need is to get it going, and this is already overkill uh, to that end with lots of lots of room for expansion uh, so we'll just leave it as it is for now I will take that one two three beacons actually uh, I will go and beacon more of these that's slightly upsetting uh, we can do two and two, and only one at a time here, only one at a time here. That's actually not that great, but we'll do this much at least. Oh, we've actually got tons of crude oil here. Yeah, this is well and truly still the bottleneck. Um, but it should give us something like... 300 liquid rocket fuel per second, which should reduce the amount of fuel. Uh, 24 minutes. I think that uh, that is actually relatively close to how long it takes to fill the cargo rocket with uh, barrel core fragments. So that's actually not that bad. Uh, there's definitely no harm in adding these beacons here, though, before we go. I will leave our little 
gang of construction spiders here. I don't think we need any military spiders. Since we managed to clear out this continent. So, yeah, I think that is Morpheus. It would probably make sense to... This is only a hundred thousand, and the trip can cost... 400,000 plus 31,000. Okay. Um, two, three, four. And we're going to need 12 uh, storage tanks. That way we can have enough stored for almost launching the rocket again immediately. Meanwhile, uh, something I should have finished doing by now. Why is this guy hovering? Oh, I think I understand. That spider's probably full or something. No? Are we missing... What is this? It is belonging to the spider, right? Uh, anyway, let's add... Pickup station here. On the right side. And those are gonna need upgrading. Um... I guess we'll do it like this. And I like this. Oh, those should definitely be uh, stack filter inserters. Let's set the recipe. Barrel core fragment. And no need for a balancer this time. The balancer is our giant container. That almost lines up perfectly. That part does line up perfectly. How about... We have these line up. It'll look a bit more tidy. That is a little bit unfortunate. Um, how about I just move this back now? That is going to be our barrel core fragment provider station. Uh, this one should actually be a vanilla stock. And we're just going to do crash pickup. And that's going to put it back into a logistic network that is accessible to the rail system with the small trains. Uh, this is all correct. Uh, this one... Keep pressing the wrong button. Um, 
I guess we'll do it properly. Uh, instead of enable disable, we're gonna say if anything is in the chest, we're gonna set train limit to one. Set train limit L. The limit is the default. Oh, hello. I was not expecting that. Uh, let's see. L1. If anything greater than zero. And then we just need a filter inserter. Actually, what's the maximum number of cargo rocket sections that can... This is fine. Why is this station still... The train limit is zero, why did a train still arrive here? Hopefully that was just because it was already coming here, I guess. Okay. We are going to need some power. That's unfortunate. Let's just put it here. And here. And... I'm going to need substations on both sides of this thing. So, let's just make that symmetrical. And... Capsules... And cargo... Rocket section, let's go here. I suppose we could pack them on the spot, but... No, I'm not too worried about that. Okay. What's the name of this landing pad? Now it's landing pad... Feral... And then... Now this landing... I should rename that to just like, now this barrel core or something. Yeah, let's be more consistent with our naming convention. Now this... Barrel core fragment. There's no way to sort this alphabetically, is there? Oh, there is. Uh, in that case, we should go with core fragment bracket barrel. And actually, let me paste that there. Okay. Now this core fragment barrel. Launch trigger is... Launch on cargo full. I think. Yeah, that'll be fine. And then I think... There's not a whole lot left to do here except wait to go home. Oh, I also forgot that these miners won't be going full speed during the night, so... Probably the ratio of making rocket fuel fast enough versus the core fragments is actually a lot closer than I realized. So that's good. Now, do I want to bring all of the military spiders back with us? Let's trim our surface. That only sort planet, not landing pad? Oh, I see. 
Okay. And here is everything we need. I'll just double check again that I have, in fact, I'm pretty sure I did go into the pyramid. But let's make sure. Yeah, we're good. Alright then. Oh, and I want to get our... What are we missing here? We're not missing anything, it's just floating bots. Let's get our construction spiders to go back home. Hopefully that takes care of the flying bot issue. And... Signals are already good. Did I change the name of this? Yes. And yes. And the next thing we need... Uh, I don't think we did it already, did we? No, we need to make a pulverizer block for the barrel core fragments. Which, actually, we can put right here. So that's going to be the shortest train trip in history. Nice. Let's start by copy-pasting... Actually, which one is this? Uranium's a little bit different. Let's copy this one. That goes there. Remove the constant combinators for requesting this stuff for now. Let's check on... Do we still have these bots just sitting here? Yes. Now, once the construction spiders get back into the robo network and have stuff taken from them. I'm thinking these bots will move again. Or I could be completely wrong. That's a little bit weird. Uh, let's try sending them back here. There might be some stuff that that network can do as well. I don't think this rocket is exactly going to surprise me and leave without me, but let's make sure I'm sitting in it just in case that moment passes. Let's leave. Oh, that's right. I was going to set up. Um... Well, I just realized how much of a production chain we need to deal with uh, the used up uranium fuel cells. It's going to make uh, uranium. It's the wrong recipe. It's going to make Uranium-238 and nothing else. I think the easiest way to deal with that is going to be just to put it in the cargo rocket silo. It'll get sorted by the uh, trash train at the other end. So we're going to give this the same condition as these ones. Uh, this is going to... Request... Where are our construction spiders? There we go. I need to make sure I pick up all of our military spiders as well. Okay. 
test those. Uh, actually, build the whole thing. And there we go. So we'll send that little trickle of uranium-238 back to Nalvis. Uh, we can't prod this, right? We actually can. Is that going to be too slow to deal with the nuclear waste coming out of here? I don't think so. It might... Uh, let's just not be that greedy. And then... And then and then and then. Continue picking up the spooters. Let's bring them over here, it's going to be a bit easier. A hey, Nyron Wolf, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, that's all our military spiders. I'll leave the construction spiders here. Um. Definitely leave the speed module. Yeah, let's leave some fuds as well. Maybe not that many. Oh, I see. I see how it is. Let's... Wait, what? Oh, they gave them to the construction spiders. So we actually already have quite a few speed and productivity modules here. I take it back. Uh, fish, and anything else? I think we're good. That is a lot of spare power. I would say add more core mining drills, but uh, the amount of the amount of time it takes to fuel this. It's actually already pretty close to a perfect ratio. Um, Alright, let's get our construction spiders again. Hopefully their bots have reunited with them. They have not. Is it just the one bot now? That's a bit weird. Um, I wanted to double check, but I'm pretty sure the ratio is... I, I think we checked this already. The ratio is going to be exactly the same for breaking down these particular core fragments. Uh, where did I put... Oh, I think the spiders have them now. Some of the... Uh... Pulverizers, there we go. Let's see. So it's 16 becomes 5, 10, and 1. 16 becomes 5, 10, and 1. And for barrel? Where is barrel? 16 becomes 5, 10, and 1. Perfect. Which means we can copy paste uh, that particular layout and then just change the recipe. Oh. We're like 60% fueled up now. I think I'm carrying everyone, everything I want to take back with me. Uh, I could leave a few 
I was gonna say I could leave a few pump jacks to start on the next crude oil thing if necessary, but we need more stuff if we're gonna do that anyway. I'll send it in another rocket if I have to. Oh, and we have been trying to load a rocket to come here for quite some time. Um, it's nothing but nuclear fuel and ammo, so I'm not too concerned yet. Um, but yeah. I think I actually... No, I got rid of a station that was dropping off nothing but U-238 here. But the uranium fuel cells, on the other hand, we should be getting from the rail network. It's actually not that much. So... Overall, our uranium flow isn't that bad, but it's definitely going to take about 600 years to... Oh. Okay, I take it back. We do have some uranium in the space, main bus base still, but... Uh, uranium's not looking that great right now. Probably because this is stopped for some reason. And it looks like that's happened because... Yep, there's too much stone. This is all jammed. Uh, where is this belt going? I see. Even so... Stone brick is saturated. I'm tempted to go to the trouble of tearing up all this stuff and making it a standard base that just sends back the core fragments. It would be a slight nuisance and a little bit of a waste of resources. Um, given the extra delivery cannon capsules that we're going to have to make to send things back and forth because we're processing the uranium on Nalvis. But we wouldn't have to worry about this stuff getting stuck anymore. Um, but what I might do for now, if the bots have these multicolored chests over here, which apparently they don't. We do have some green and blue chests. Um, what would it take to make some purple chests? Steel and both types of circuits. Uh, we do have all of that here. Okay. Don't need this anymore. Don't need this anymore either. Uh, but yeah, let's... Let's actually leave this here for the moment. I'm gonna change that to... Actually, that needs to be picked up at least for a moment. What was I about to make here? Landfill? No, first we need the purple chests. Hey, Morpheus, so good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. There is some purple, third row from top, fourth from right. Uh, was that the filter inserters, or did... Oh, no, there it is. Yeah, so the bots should have replaced these already. Fantastic. Okay, so we don't need this. 
Um, I think we should probably... It would probably be easier if we just did this here, actually. So that was sort of pointless anyway. Um, just one machine should be enough. We're going to turn that into landfill. Or I could get rid of this and... should be more than sufficient. Is it just stone that we're full on? It is also copper, but not that bad. I mean, it's actually pretty close to full, but we're supposed to be sending copper plate back to Nalvis. So why is this one a plate greater than three. That must that must that might actually just be a typo. So is this uh sorry, cup of plate greater than zero. There we go. Why is this is connected to our signal receiver. Now this DC rail receiver number one. And the copper plate signal means that we want copper plate. Copper plate greater than zero. There's not a logistic network condition. Oh, it's not actually connected to this. Where does that wire go? Nowhere, that's where. Oh, I see. Huh. So this doesn't actually fit four copper plate at the end of the belt. Actually, even so, this should be enabled. We're reading... It's set to pulse. That's embarrassing. But... On the other hand... Okay, I think we will... Use red wire to get that signal there. We will set this to greater than three. And... No, now it's working. Oh, oh yeah, it was because of pulse. Okay, so greater than four. So there's four copper plate here. We're receiving a signal of one copper plate on this green wire from Nalvis. When we want something sent. And that will, at least on this end, empty uh, the copper here, gradually. Hey, Maholic, I am Sark. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. How's the grand plans? Not too bad. Um, speaking of which... Wait, don't we actually have, like, a shortage of stone on Nalvis, or is that gone? Uh, let's see. I should probably label these. We definitely have a shortage of stone on Nalvis. So instead of going out of my way to get rid of the stone, uh, why don't I send it back? I'm surprised I didn't already have something set up to do that. We could probably fit another one of these here. We might have one lying around, I hope. If we don't, I guess we'll craft it. Um, So we're going to pick up our delivery cannon capsules from here. And I guess we could split the stone... Uh, 
through here, which would be a little bit tricky, but not too bad. That's a problem. Might need more than one inserter for this, actually. But yeah, I think... Maybe... There should be another long arm here. We do have some spare long arms lying around. Fantastic. Oops. Red wire goes here, green wire goes here, and I've already got the condition. Fantastic. Now, we do need to make a delivery cannon. A chest. Delivery can. Do we have everything? It would appear we do not have heat shielding or big electric motors. Uh, okay. Wait, do we have. I think at this, uh, I think on Tullabai we're not actually receiving anything from Nalvis, which is kind of cool. Um, so we might have to, if we can, uh, make some heat shielding, stone tablet, steel, and sulfur. Uh, I know we've got the stone tablets over here. Sulfur is a bit more of a problem, but if we've got another robopod lying around... Actually, we don't even need another robopod. We can do it like this. And that should sort it out. Uh, the whole robo network is connected. Good. Good morning, Kellogg's. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. How's it going? Yeah, not too bad. Uh, we're just unclogging stone from our first uranium core fragment planet, which managed to get completely stuck. Uh, and why is it that... Oh, we are making heat shielding here somewhere. Heat shielding. There it is. Um... Heat shielding. Okay, cool. So all we have to do is... Put that into the Logi network as well. Just consuming this stuff is going to get everything flowing again as well, to some extent. Um, but the thing we're missing here is LDS. The reason we're not getting LDS is there's no steel. The reason there's no steel... ...is... What? Steel greater than... So oh, we're trying to super-prioritize 
the steel for the batteries, but the fact that it's not moving is because there is... Okay, there's a trickle of steel coming in. I wonder if it's because I unclogged things. If we have some speed modules, those those should definitely get an upgrade. Um, we actually we actually don't have that much power to spare. Uh, I could always. Oh, we were already going to do this. I was going to say I could always build out a nuclear plant here. That's already connected. I'll just put this here temporarily. And we also need a Robopot. We've been short of Robopots here a couple of times. Maybe we could make some. A Veldak. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, can I shove this over a little bit? Oh, and we didn't make... We don't have big electric motors. Um, electronic circuits, small electric motors, steel, and lubricant. Lubricant's the biggest problem. Uh, heavy oil is all the way over here. Oh, we do have lube. We do have some big electric... Okay. Um, I think we should just extend the robo-network to make these things a bit easier. Right. Oh. Yeah, no, that's fine. I was going to say we have to barrel it, but that's not right. We can stop there. Um, now, Robopods. I th think we can make some? Yes. Let's just make as many as will fit here, and we'll deconstruct it. Nah, I want to have a few. Let's, uh... Let's make one stack. As long as we don't run out of any of these other resources. Doesn't look like it. Small electric motors might turn into a problem. I got rid of the automation for that. Whoops. Can I do this to a ghost? I don't think so. Construction bots are looking weirdly busy. Taking their sweet time building up. We've still got plenty of... Oh, hello. We just arrived on Nalvis. Fantastic. So we can see this working now. We're draining the... Uh? Oh, this isn't connected properly. Draining the core fragments at a decent pace. Fantastic. Uh, considering that overall we're we're mining them at less than 40 per second on the planet. I think this throughput will be just fine. Uh, we need to change... What happened here? There was an old build that I didn't fully deconstruct. Um, let's make absolutely sure... that we get rid of anything that's not supposed to be here. 
And then we'll copy paste that design again. I'll wait till the spiders have picked it up. Looks like it's fine already. Okay. Copy this. Paste it here. Get rid of the requests. Before something bad happens. Oh. And we want to change this to barrel. That should be that. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Fantastic. Are your stack inserter sizes set so it keeps a full belt? If one is 12 and the other is 8, it should keep a full lane per pair. Oh, just by setting... Well, I can't actually go to 12 yet, but I didn't know that. If So, if this is 12 and this is 8, or vice versa... It should actually keep it saturated, is that what you mean? I would have thought it takes at least three inserters. Um, actually, no. Correct. So, which one... Which one is supposed to be set to eight? Is it the one at the... In the middle, or on the side? 812 is a magic pair that keeps it full. Does it matter which is which? Don't think it matters. Okay. Good to know. I look forward to someday uh, being able to test that here. I guess I could jump into the super editor mode. Speaking of which, I did spend a little time designing things uh, yesterday. Uh, we've got some auto crafting things uh this works just like the thing we made in orbit already where you pulse in to a memory cell a bunch of stuff that you want it to craft and it'll be removed from the memory cell uh every time the inserter takes something out of here uh but i'm a little more excited about these ones we're reading from the logistic network. Uh, we multiply all that by negative one. We've got positive signals on this side for stuff that we want to craft. We send through just one of those signals and we set the recipes. Uh, so if there's like, if we want 10 chemical plants and there's seven in the logistic network, that'll be negative seven versus 10 equals three. I'm going to craft three of those. Uh, set the requests for the requesting uh, requester chest. Uh, this is just a filter inserter that's got a blacklist for what's supposed to be in this chest. I do realize that sometimes we're going to have more than five items that need to be in this chest, but I set the stack size to this thing to 1, so it'll just slowly drain of stuff that shouldn't be in there, usually. And, uh, and then I made a couple of versions of it that go a little bit bigger. Without too many extra combinators, we can get two arbitrary signals from a set of stuff that we want to craft. Uh, so this will be one recipe, this will be another. And if we scale it up a little bit, uh, we can get, uh, it's three combinators per machine added, but it gets an arbitrary signal, like the six arbitrary signals out of a set of signals. Although, given the nature of the signals that the logistic network spits out, this can get a little bit flickery but the crafting combinators don't respond that quickly, so it sort of somewhat sorts itself out. 
you might, might want to check Mojo's Make Everything. Uh, yeah, that's basically what I was going for, although this won't literally make everything. Um, but it does mean that for things that are low throughput, that we just tell the logistic network to make, uh, we can get rid of all of these, um, theoretically. Uh, as long as we're not asking too much of this system, um, we don't need to have a sprawl of logistic network. Like, things like this, they're almost never in motion. So, definitely a good idea to use it for stuff like that, I think. Okay. Um, meanwhile, it's about time... We don't... We don't actually have enough pulverizers to build this in one go. Oh, and I almost forgot a thing or two we still need to do on Tullabai. Um, I was going to change this to speed modules if we have them. I don't think we do have them. I see efficiency. Oh, yep, we got speed modules. So, let's update our smelting a bit. Um, we do need more power to support that. Looks like we've laid the groundwork to get that done. Uh, let's do a quick copy-paste here. And that should be everything we need. Uh, I don't... I think we do have the nuclear reactors, because otherwise I wouldn't have built this, uh... Uh, what do you call it? I, I wouldn't have built out this landfill a while ago if we didn't have the reactors, for example. I think I saw them here earlier. We have 12 reactors. Okay, cool. Fantastic. We're also getting an awful lot of used up uranium fuel cells lying around. We should probably do something about that. Um, so let's, 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 let's do this. Thank you for the follow trademarks. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I think the biggest challenge is not to collapse into an FPS slash UPS death. Yeah, that too. That's uh, another argument for the simpler outpost bases that I've been building that just do core mining, send it back to Nalvis, and have as little as possible going on to support that. Um... I actually got rid of sending back U-238, which I don't know how wise that is, but let's put it here for now. A hey, Dune, welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well, thank you for the raid. And uh, how was your stream today? Welcome Raiders, Lex Real, welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. Uh, what else was I doing here? We've got our nuclear plant starting to be built, that should be more than enough to support the extra beacons we're throwing in. I meant to extend the robo network up here, this is still a ghost. So, I guess we didn't get those robo ports yet. Probably... Because I forgot to finish putting in the small electric motors. Would have been a little bit easier if I'd left a construction spider here as well, but... 
Oh, we're also still trying to make landfill. Or did we limit that? Okay. And apparently dropping off these productivity modules is a low priority. How many construction bots do we have? Only 60. And I started them building all of this stuff. That would explain it. Stream's been good. Nice. Now I'm building everything with wide beacon, substation pylon, and train direct input, avoiding using belt as best I can. Fair enough. I wonder how well I could fit train direct input with the rail blocks that I've already designed. Might be tricky. Okay. Um, so more importantly, the core mining is flowing again. Um, it seems we're still not getting capsules. Bonk. Did I miss something? Where are our delivery cannon capsules? Where's our steel? Is this even enough steel to support... Yeah, it's iron that we're bottlenecking on here. That's a problem. We do have a bunch of steel just in the robo-network. It's only like 560 now, actually. Let's go Robo port equals zero. Do we have like an iron mine lying around so we could boost this at least for a while? Sort of. It's not an Oh, that's relatively close. I suppose... How much belt do we have? 3k, that's good. Let's, uh... Take advantage of this iron, I guess. I could move this over here. And could have a belt come down this way. In order to reunite with that. That's no good. Then, I think we should move these ones. Uh, I don't think the Robo Network reaches there either. Let's just put this here. To think I'd set up the, uh... I think I'd set up this base so that it would continue indefinitely without supervision. Let's put these here. And then... Down this way. Bit more belt. And we're going to need to extend the robo network out in this direction in order to make that work that might actually cover it all right
Belt and inserter taking up most UPS. Belts are fine for UPS, they fixed them a while back. And from what I understand, if belts are saturated, they don't use as much UPS as you might think. But of course, keeping them saturated everywhere is a little bit tricky. Uh, we also need that delivery cannon. We're still waiting on the big electric motors. The big electric motors are way up here, and we're just trying to get the robo network over there to take advantage. We do have robo ports automated, so that shouldn't take too much longer. Um, I'll limit the small electric motors to 50. And then... Uh-oh. Oh no, this is supposed to happen. This is here to drain the coal, which doesn't seem to be working all that well. No, it's working. Well enough. Okay. I guess we'll come back here after giving the bots some time to do their thing. Uh, in the meantime, let's get our construction spiders resupplied. And... I should fix my personal Spidertron remote. Come fetch me my noble steed. Actually, I'll just tell it to move here because if I activate the jetpack it'll lose the tracking. Okay. So we've set these recipes it looks like. Um, I just need to change the stations. 32,000 four fragment barrel. Let's switch that on. Uh, except before we do, let's change the name of these stations. Barrel, four fragment. Too late. I think I just messed up. Uh, one of our train's schedules. In fact, I'm not sure... There it is. Perfect. Didn't even need to send it back to the depot. So here comes our first load. And before it gets here, we need to change these filters to barrel. And I think that's actually it, functionally speaking. I'll also change the name of this station. Here comes our spider, and then, I think that's it. Once the construction spiders come back with more pulverizers, that is. I heard so too if belt is full, but it's impossible to keep them always full, of course. Logistic robot is more UPS friendly than belt for big production. From what I understand, yeah. But in SE, bots are not that powerful. Yeah, in SE, they sort of punish you for having a lot of logistic bots. They crash out of the air the more that, the more of them are flying. If you have only 50 logistic bots, I, I don't know if it's 50 per surface or 50 per robot network. Uh, but if you go above 50, they'll start to crash. 
Now, since we're waiting for transit here, let's have another look at Tolibay. Still building. That's fine, I guess. Oh, and I actually wanted to update that with this blueprint. And then... How many robopods have we made here? Three. We've got a couple, which suggests that this one's probably been built. Fantastic. Unfortunately, it doesn't have power, unless we're doing cracking. I don't know if that'll be enough to have the bots on their way here to build those, those items right there, or if they're going to keep going back instead. Uh, but yeah, that'll get us our electric motors which will get us our um what was I gonna say our cannon less than ten And what else? Actually got no mineable resources here. That's right, I needed to make sure the iron ore was going to get to... smelters. It looks okay. Yeah, I think it's just too many jobs for the bots to do right now. Alright, let's grab our construction spiders. Bring them all the way down here. And that build... It would help if I set the filters on these particular filter inserters. And... wait, what? Uh... I thought I copied this over here. There we go. Fantastic. And that should be enough to saturate all of these inputs. I wonder if I should make a multi-smelter, well not multi-smelter, but multi-pulverizer using crafting combinators. Because these are idle a lot of the time. On the other hand, the sheer volume of... why is this happening? Uh, the sheer volume of stuff for each of these resources might make that a bit awkward. Alright then, let's check on our new planet, shall we? Um, Morpheus is down here. Oh my god, you're kidding. No, why? What the hell? The Jesus Christ. Um, I really didn't expect to see anything there. Just thought I'd check on it for fun. Which rocket is going to Morpheus? 
Uh, it's this one. Manual launch. Let's get some lasers. And... Go. Are you kidding me? We don't have the fuel. How the hell did this happen? Um, what can I do? What can I do? I've got the military spiders with me. That's good. Um, uh, we need that liquid, liquid rocket fuel yesterday. Solid rocket fuel. Send all of it, please. And we didn't... Okay, something that bothers me about this is... I saw big biters just now. We never saw any large biters. Um, instruction... Shit. Ah. I need a shortcut to get there. Okay, is this the nav view? Yes, it is. Let's do this. We can at least get these spiders away. We lost two of the spiders as well. Almost all the core mining drills are gone. These are... These are really big biters. Okay, these are giant biters. They're like big biters, but they're bigger than they should be. Um, I'm beginning to suspect this has something to do with core mining. The planet itself doesn't have biter meteors. We definitely cleared out that um, that continent. So, and this would explain, I think, why all of the devastation happened around here when we had those giant biters on Nalvis. I think they're spawned by core mining. Maybe just once, otherwise it would have happened on Nalvis again. Did pollution reveal new chunks and they expanded? We were uh, we were surrounded by water, so it wouldn't have mattered. Unless they can fly over water to expand. Jeez, we need 300,000 liquid rocket fuel. Uh, why is this... Okay, stop. That's not going to help that much, but it's certainly not going to hurt. Let's add these again. And we need some requester chests. Inserters. Yes, it is the planet with Pyramid. Enable debug for expansion chunk candidates. They can spawn over water. Lovely. There's not a whole lot I can do at the moment until I have a rocket that can go back there. Um, enable expansion... I see green circles, and I see a biter base that we definitely cleared out earlier. I am beginning to suspect that trimming the surface put the biter bases back there as well. No, I think if that was the case, they would be up here. To think I almost left some military spiders here, just in case. This should absolutely not have expansion candidates over here. Yeah, I think, I think they hopped over the water. How far does the pollution go? Kind of far. Okay, how's our fuel looking? Uh, terrible? 
We're bottlenecked on solid rocket fuel anyway. Okay. This one is... This one has 400,000. Let's... Can I just get rid of the destination for this one? Uh, it's a manual launch. Let's just change it to... Novus Orbit. And that'll dump all of the fuel back into the network here, and then this one... This one should have gulped it up really quickly. What's going on? Did that fuel not get dumped back into this? It should have. I've done that experiment before. So where the hell did our liquid rocket fuel just go? Did we just lose 400,000 liquid rocket fuel? Those candidates on the east coast are because they are in range of a base on the other side of the lake. They'd still need to walk around the lake that far to start a new base there. Yeah, well, like I said, we did clear out the um, continent. I double-checked. I <sighs> should have triple-checked, I guess. Unless they can hop over the water. What can I do to get rocket fuel here? It's already the, it's already here. I can help pick it up. Where's our spider? Logistic bots are being awfully slow right now. Or for some reason they're obsessed with some other resource. No, they aren't moving solid rocket fuel. They're just taking it over here instead. Um, I don't have a whole lot of room in my inventory. Damn it. Uh, let's turn off personal logistics. And I'll take all of this, please. Head back to our new refineries. Grab a copy of a beacon. Oh, there's already a beacon here. Okay. Solid rocket fuel goes here. It's still gonna take a while. I can't believe- I was so close to leaving at least a few Spidertrons. Um, back on Morpheus, but no, I said, we definitely cleared the biters. They can't do anything. Where are they now? They're just, they're just hanging around. They destroyed a bunch of accumulators here, but now they're not doing anything. I suspect whatever that bot is going to place... Oh no. Um. Am I wrong or are big biters usually not that big? Or at least there was, there was some over here that looked bigger than they're supposed to be. Still, if they came from the core mining, then there shouldn't be these other bases, right? How are we doing for fuel? 30-something percent. Bigs are 600 hit points. Uh, let's see. I guess there's no rush. I can make a shortcut here now. Um, create a new pin. Icon is... Well, 
I don't think we need an icon here. What's the planet called? Morpheus. Hotkey. How about control zero? Okay. I can't... Oh, there we go. 3,000 hit points on the behemoth. Uh, this guy has... 375. So he's not some kind of super biter. Not like the ones that appeared on Nalvis. But yeah, all of the biters that we did find on this planet uh, were relatively small. I mean, here's some medium ones. How's our fuel? It's completely stalled. I fail to understand how the bots are picking up all of this solid rocket fuel, but it's not... Oh. Alright, that's something at least. Copy that setting. Paste it here. I should probably just make it a regular thing that we bring in solid rocket fuel from the rail system. I can do that over here. Hey, Mad Mike. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. All kinds of... S I'm... All kinds of off in my head, then. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of trivia, right? Okay. Uh, we're going to need the... Let's just do decider combinator. Rocket. Solid rocket fuel. One train load. Prefer a red for that one. Uh, request only. And then tell LTN how much solid rocket fuel we have. Rocket fuel requester. I think I just messed up the train. Um, where is it going? This one? And you are actually going to the wall. Wait, what? Oh, there's more oil blocks. Uh, yeah, I kind of lost track of... Oh, this might... That's plastic. Wait. No, that's a fuel train. Here it is. Okay. Rubber deck no longer exists. Solid. Fuel. Western. Well, that should sort that out. How are we looking? Half full. That is sub-optimal. The biters are going to completely destroy everything that they're going to attack. There's no way I'm going to get there before they do everything they want to. Uh, the train is still moving. You should probably stop. And hope the biters ignore you.
Oh, oh hi, Osoro. I don't know if I saw you before. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Vasha, welcome, welcome. A very unfortunate series of events, yes. Uh, I think I will take... I might just remove the thing that removes stuff that's not supposed to be here. And we'll take some rockets with us. No, this set of Spidertrons should be more than enough. Um, I should definitely run my personal logistics, though. I'll carry some rockets. Oh, I'm already carrying 200. That's not exactly what I had in mind, though. Um, how about... Multiply that by 11. We'll give those to some of our spiders when we get there. I could just add some requests to this thing, but depending on the order... Don't tell me they destroyed a bunch of space capsules over there. Nope. Space capsules are safe. Sort of. We're going to have to take, uh, how many core mining drills? Eight. Four mining drill. And God knows what else. Uh, that's bad. Going to call in the starship troopers, yes. I'm carrying, uh... It's actually 21 military spiders. I'll take some reactors as well. In case they were destroyed. Actually, let's have a look at that. They do not seem interested at all in attacking the nuclear plant. I guess it doesn't actually directly pollute. Don't need this landfill. Don't need that many speed modules, do I? Oh, I can't fit the core mining drills. Uh, let's just shove the rockets in here. Fuel's still looking pretty bad. I don't think this is enough to keep up with our demand for liquid rocket fuel anymore. So, let's add... Oh, I can get rid of... Can I get rid of this belt? That's our steel. And I accidentally disconnected it, power-wise. Um, up here, I think. It fits, um... Some more... Liquid rocket fuel production. We'll make this permanent. We'll have it on the side of... Uh... 
the correct side of this pump here. I need some quester chests. And I need a robo port. Where are my robo ports? There we go. We're going to need some more power. I could just bring this. No, never mind. Substation goes here. Okay. That's fine for combat. Um, what else should I take? Maybe in future I should build walls around these things. Do you have enough materials over there to replace the broken stuff? I haven't checked everything yet. Let's have a look. We're missing four mining drills, which I already took. Some big poles, accumulators, which I'm already carrying. Uh... This stuff I'm already carrying and or it's relatively easy to replace. We need more beacons. Um, and modules should be fine. What else? I'm surprised this didn't get repaired. I thought we had repair packs. We do have construction bots. I guess I didn't include repair packs. I didn't think we needed them. The construction spiders probably have the repair packs. They do not. We've got a refinery, seven chemical plants. That's about it, really. They didn't destroy... Uh, any of the flat solar panels, it seems like. Good to know. At least they haven't destroyed any of this stuff. Oh. Wait, really? You're upset at a pump. It doesn't even pollute anything. Why would you attack a pump? Offshore pump. Please don't attack the nuclear plant. I don't think they're going to attack the nuclear plant. I hope. It's part of the system, destroy everything. Flat Solar didn't get in their way. Yeah, that's what I figured. Oh, El Pancho. Welcome, welcome. Good to see you again. Was it a bite of media? No, it, this planet doesn't have them. Only the hot reactors. Pollution around those pumps before, maybe not just the tooltip. Okay, fair enough. It would explain why they attacked them. Where are they going now? Are they going all the way back here to form an attack group? 
weirdos. Okay. We're at like 80%. Uh, what else should I pack? What else? I think I'd better get the construction spiders away from here. I might actually include um, rockets in the stuff that we regularly send and have them delivered to the spiders. No. What did you just attack? No, don't. No, 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 no. Please, not the ten space capsules. No. Why are you like this? Uh. At this rate, they're going to destroy the cargo rocket silo by attacking... What exactly? They're attacking all of the inserters? And now they're attacking the cargo landing pad. Oh my god, please. Where is our fuel? You gotta be kidding me. Why is this not working yet? Why is there no substation here? Oh my god. Construction spiders, please. Rescue me. How do we not have substations getting placed here? Just joining the streams, I feel guilty. Hello, real Peggy. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. They actually are attacking. Oh my god. Are you serious? Why are you like this? And why is it stopped at like 80%? It looks like it hasn't stopped, it's just that slow. And we didn't get these going. Uh, okay. Um, anything else I should pack? I'm just going to set this to launch on fuel full. I think we're not going to make it before the landing pad is dead. I definitely think we're not going to make it before the cargo rocket silo is dead. Uh, let's request... that. That's far more than enough beacons, thank you very much. Cargo, rocket silo, cargo, landing pad. They should be on their way already. Good. We just need another 30,000 liquid rocket fuel. Uh, I seriously doubt it, but we might make it still. I'm a little annoyed that cancelling this uh, destination didn't give us our fuel back. I don't know why that would have happened. Like, we ran that experiment before and we did get the fuel back, so I don't know where it went. We should have been able to launch this like 10 minutes ago or more. It's going to be close. I think it's going to be very close. 10,000 to go. Um, that's enough of that. Thank you very much. 
Should have asked for more of rockets. I'll set that up as a regular delivery. On the plus side, uh, dealing with the logistics for Morpheus, we did figure out a system for delivering like everything by cargo rocket, by cargo landing pad. Why is the sound so bad when I zoom in in this place? All right, here we go. Thunderbirds a go. Oh, it's going to be so close. 584 hit points remain. 488. Four, 392. 296, and I can see the drop pods coming in. 200. Please let me out. Oh my god. 104 hit points. There's... The, 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 the smallest little square here is, uh, grey. Oh my god. <laughs> Thank you. Alex Hudson, welcome, welcome. Thank you very much. That was so close. Yeah, I couldn't have scripted it better. Jeez. If I was doing that on purpose, it was an, an achievement. I mean, it wasn't even, like, timing it deliberately. I had the rocket set to launch as soon as possible. Speaking of which, launch on cargo full. That's never gonna happen. I'll check that out later. Now, we need to have our military spiders follow the leader. Uh, I guess that'll do for a start. Let's move them up this way. And up here. Alright, I want to get more of them together before we have them attack something bigger. So many clicks. Alright, we need some more remotes. Just a few more to go. Actually, I don't remember if I dropped all of the spiders. I'm glad the lasers work while I'm in the capsule, otherwise we wouldn't have made it. Okay. Um, let's put my robopod on just so that some of that stuff gets done. Now, priority one is simply to remove the biters from the local area. Let's check for expansions or rogue biters over this way. Seems to be okay. I guess the construction spiders would have heard of them by now. And let's be a little bit more careful. They seem to be coming from here, so let's push them back this way a little bit first. Probably shouldn't be activating the core mining just yet. Uh, the accumulators are full. Let's turn this bit of belt 
so that the so that the mine is stopped. Normally I would be a little bit more careful, but we're in a hurry. Regarding your why didn't we get the fuel back issue earlier, from my past experience at least, you definitely need pumps to remove it from the launch pad, otherwise it stays hidden in the launch pad. Okay. I went to the trouble of making sure that the containers for the fuel are never completely full so that there would be room uh, for that fuel to go somewhere. It may have been a bit of a waste. Let's do some scouting with the satellite. Seems to be okay. I guess I should add some radars in the future. If this had been like misanthrope mod or something, Everything here would have been gone. Even if it was just a few biters attacking. Can you make sound effects 50% less loud? Uh, sure. Settings, sounds... You'll think that's better. I guess it's more that the biters are loud in particular. Maybe there's uh, something more specific for them. Doesn't look like it. I think they meant stream sound effects like the applause or yay. Oh, okay. I meant the ones people redeem for points. Okay. Let me see what I can do about that. Right after I line this up. Can I get them to follow that? I can. Alright. Actually... I can just change the volume of mix it up instead of changing all of those individually. So the next one should be about half as loud. Did this get destroyed? Nope. Okay. Nope. Nope. There was something I was trying to read earlier, but there was a round of applause, and it kept scrolling from chat. I think I missed someone's comment earlier. Sorry. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna find it. What do you guys think? Too quiet? Just right? Why do I not have the core mining drills? That seems odd. I definitely requested eight of them, didn't I? Do we not have any back on Nalvis? Uh, I should check on our military first.
And I'm definitely leaving them here when I go next time. Unfortunately, we can't set them to go on patrol. I guess we could build a wall here. That would that would be a start. Just above your voice. Nice. Okay, cool. Used Ghost Decom Planner to see what they've destroyed. Yeah, good point. First priority is to find all of the Biter expansions, though. Again. Don't tell me that's it. No, here's some. It is a rather large continent that we have to check again. And here's some worms. I don't trust them. Let's assume they can reproduce and turn into biters. And there's even more over here. That seems really suspicious to me. Like, even if I missed one biter base, they shouldn't have expanded over all of this territory that quickly. And especially with that giant gap, there's a limit to the range of their expansions. I think trimming it brought the biters back. Yeah, there's no way I miss... There's there's bases here that are bigger than expansions. Alright, I guess we're not trimming again. Not on this planet, anyway. Uh, where are we? Still looking good. still those two worms that we never killed, but map gen would probably replace them in exactly the same spot again. Where are our spiders up to? Let's get them to walk over this one. And they can probably handle that without supervision. This one too, I think. That one for sure. Good to know. I'll keep that in mind once I get that far. I mean, that's just my hypothesis, but... I've never seen biter expansions that are a decent size, right? I trimmed the planet, yes. Maybe it spawns biters from the unexplored chunks after they were reset. That's what I was thinking. They always come back to uh, freshly spawned as if they had never been there, to the point where they will have worse spawns if you're evo. Increased in the meantime. Lovely. Uh, um, that is pretty close to the entire um, continent as well. Let's get the rest of it explored. Well, not what I expected to be spending my time on for this particular stream. But 
we'll get it sorted out. And I'm not going to trust that we don't somehow get biters coming in again. It's not a lot, but I do have 50 laser turrets on me. We can do a little bit of a wall here. Um, let me see whatever else the construction spiders are carrying. Talk about variety streaming, <laughs> I guess. Uh, where should our wall go? Right about here? If I were to place laser turrets all the way down, we would need about 103. So I think we'll just do a laser turret every other tile. And I could add some walls. Let's just figure out the rest first. Substation. Uh, that's gonna leave a gap of like two. Maybe like this. Snap to grid relative and oops. Bring it down this way. Close enough. All right, so all of that should get built. I should also change my personal spider drum remote to be this guy while I'm here. Let's get this little base out of the way. So where did the biters come from? You make them when you trim surface. Yeah, that's that's our working theory at the moment. Oh, what? I think my shift click didn't work because I was mousing over the chat. Alright. And those are some big nasty bases. Let's be careful about that. Now then, power poles. Let's get them spiders to take us where everything's going to get built. I should also put down a radar or two. should be fine. It is going to explore the area out here, but I guess that's okay. Plus have a fully fueled rocket on standby. Uh, seems like a good idea. Hughes Mike, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay. Uh, so, there's a stone mine over here, we could, we could make some walls. Concrete we don't have, that's more of a pain. Alright, did we, why did we not place the rest of these lasers? Wait, how many lasers is this? 57. I messed up. Uh, these two should become one. And that goes 
goes there. That goes there. So we'll at least have something to stop a little baby expansion or at least slow the biters down this way. While we're waiting for the bite, uh, spiders to move, I should do another pass looking for biters in case we somehow missed a tiny little expansion. I like how it took just long enough for the biters to attack after I trimmed that I didn't get to realize that was a problem while I was still there. Crafty. Yeah, I don't think we missed any. We could throw out some radars with solar panels, it'll just work during the day not have to run power poles everywhere. Okay. A couple of them are scratched, but I'm not too worried about that. It's more important that I pay attention and control them directly when they run into these bases. Step one, let's pull the biters away. Use the cliffs, not that it'll make much difference. Actually, maybe a little. And that should just about do it. This cluster over here is a little bit scary. I'm glad on that other planet that we trimmed, everything's on an island with no biters. And the other ones that we trimmed just have no biters, period. Not too bad if you babysit them. a little bit. Wait for the shields to recharge. Pick off the biters. get into those juicy spawners. Oh, 
One, two, three more bases to go, I hope. I don't particularly want a chance paying attention to anything else until this is done. Or at least this base here. I want to be a bit more careful this time. Those big worms in the middle are nothing to scoff at. There we go. And this one they can definitely kill on autopilot. Uh, let's use the navsat to check for any other expansions. Couple of worms there. And that should be the end of it. Again. Oh. We found a worm. And two biters. Okay. I think we can chance turning our attention away for a minute. Uh, let's get a couple of stone miners. And uh, smelters. It's too close. And then Substation goes here. Assemblers go here. Not front this. Oops. Uh, I don't think we're going to need the speed modules. And then just one chest here should be enough. I guess it's out of robo range. Okay. That is looking a lot slower than I expected it to, actually. How many wall would we need here? But just one layer. Uh, 207. That's not that bad. We've got... We've still only got one. Oh, I forgot to set this recipe as well. Not that that's going to make that much difference. Uh, how about we beacon this? Am I not carrying some beacons? I'm actually not. Oh, there they are. Speed goes here. Sub goes here. And that'll give us a whole lot more stone walls. How realistic is it for me to make the core mining drills while I'm here? A million circuits, concrete, electric mining drills, steel plate. I th think we should probably have it sent to us. I just realized I already have an equivalent to this combinator right here. It's uh, all of these ones. Four mining drill. Eight. Wait, is it eight? I'm looking for 
five more of these. No, six. Uh, so. Six more core mining drills. Uh, remove this, please. And now we're waiting on an awful lot of capsules. I think I might have to temporarily change the number of capsules we're requesting here. At least until we get one load of stuff delivered. Oh, we're not even... We're not even able to start loading the cargo rocket sections. Um, I do feel a little bit... Oh. We've also run out of storage? No? Why are these bots floating until the end of time? That's weird. Really need to do something about space capsule production. Um, we do have it in the rail system. It bottlenecks on uh, rocket control units. Rocket control units are bottlenecked on batteries. Batteries require iron. That's not what I was expecting. What sciences are you at? All tier one? Uh, yeah, tier one. We were gonna get to... Uh... We, we were gonna start filling out... Oh my god, no, 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 please no. Jeez. Luckily, I put, uh six shields on this thing and two ro uh two RTGs otherwise it would have died a long time ago yikes did we actually lose any spiders nope okay let's get rid of the last of the threat here Spiders come out to play. And that just about does it. Let's send them back to where they'll get repaired. Uh, check for the millionth time with the navigation satellite that we don't have any more expansions. Those are worms. I've tried to reach those worms. I can't do it with just a laser. Seems like once again this continent is clear. Okay then. Right. Uh, let's drop some repair packs in the Robo Network. Oh, they just gave them all back to me. How about this? And are we missing anything still? Oh, yes we are. Ouch. 
Let's get our construction spiders back over here. We've already got our walls. Let's do that first. We don't need a logistic network for this part. I can just mark this for deconstruction. Cancel. I mean, undo. And they've picked them all up. And I'll use the queuing up of mood, move orders trick to get them to build all these walls. And then get over here, please. Not sure why I've got a single accumulator lying around here. I think it was supposed to be for the belts. May as well start filling this rocket, although... How did a single extra cargo rocket section get in there? Uh... What was I about to do? This is connected to the accumulator. Good. Right then. So we're basically waiting for this. Wow, that space capsule is taking a long time. Uh, what's the deal? Rocket control units. What's wrong with rocket control units? No glass. Oh, that is completely my fault. I got rid of glass production here. And then... That's weird. Oh, I think I see what's happening. Um... Okay. Very temporary fix. Uh, okay, that would help as well. Surprised I overlooked that until the end of time. But yeah, we need just to get some of that glass from the belt to come over here. Um, I could also request glass from the... Oh. I could also request glass from the logistic network as a one-off. Just pulse that into our memory cell. Apparently we are still requesting a hundred um, space capsules from the rail network here, which would suggest that this thing has produced none of them since we last looked, uh, which I'm a little bit surprised about. I could bump up the... Uh, if I bump up the priority of iron plate on both rocket control units and batteries, it'll probably get done. What really concerns me... Okay, if this is in motion, then this hasn't stopped. So we are getting some iron, at least. Okay, that... That's not good. I've said it before, but I don't understand how these precise loaders manage to work. 999 times in a row, and then fail. Uh, wait, 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 wait. We need to... We need to empty these inserter hands that are sticking out. Before the next train comes. One of them's gonna come on the other side, isn't it?
That should sort... Oh. That should sort that out. The other one is working just fine. So that'll give us a little bit more iron, by which I mean about half of our throughput from the core fragments. Actually, I suppose just one of these was enough to keep up in the meantime. That's something, I guess. Do we still have a train coming here? Yeah, we do. Okay. Now... Uh, we need to get glass dropped off here from the rail network. Consistently. I think just 30%. 30 percent? 30 per cent? What? 30 per second. Uh, would probably be more than enough, but the positioning of it is a little bit unfortunate. I don't know... I'm tempted to just have the bots deal with it, honestly. Have a Roboport drop-off. Well, here's our temporary glass anyway. It is a lot of bot jobs that that produces, though. Uh... Technically, I could... Can we move this RoboPort a bit? I could just have rail come out like this. Why not? Spaghetti patch for a spaghetti base. We're still missing a lot of accumulators here. Uh, let's add them to the list of requests. Say... A thousand. Let's check how many we need, actually. So where's that blueprint? Deconstruction plan of ghosts. Uh, 261. We're missing one heat exchanger. Three. Wait. This, the biters did destroy some of this. That's unfortunate. I'm surprised we don't have some more in storage, but then maybe we did. No, I remember handcrafting the last few of the steam turbines. Um, we're missing one heat exchanger exactly. How difficult is that to make? Not very. Let's see. About 262 accumulators, a bunch of pipe. Blue inserters, blue belt, red belt, six coal mining drills, bit of heat, one one piece of heat pipe. Okay, that's relatively speaking not that bad. It's um the kind of thing we can handcraft the remainder for. We need to deliver these rockets to the spiders as well. Uh, where's this? Oh, you are requesting 800 rockets. Fair enough. Construction spiders, I think you can go back for now. Actually, let's get you to replace 
this stuff if you can. We should have plenty of pipe here. St That's just rude. They killed the pipes. I should get the construction spiders to visit this spot as well. James Gamer, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, and I'll get rid of those rocket requests for myself. Uh, strangely, oh, there we go. I was going to say strangely enough they're not getting put in my trash slots. I should have carried some repair packs as well. Well, I will be carrying some repair packs. Rail, it's replacing. The ghosts have disappeared for the uh, offshore pumps, oddly enough. So now I'm going to have to check all of them. Those are fine. Those ones are all okay. I think we're good. Right. I can actually already make one heat exchanger. Oh, I'm all... Uh, I was going to say I'm already carrying some. I should have cancelled that one, but I was too slow. Uh, I need some heat pipe. That requires 20 copper plate. I need to handcraft three steam turbines, which is also copper plate. You can start moving again. At least they didn't break this. And what else? Steam turbine. Some more pipe. Did we fix this? We don't have the inserters, or at least the spiders don't. Oh, we definitely don't need a thousand uh, accumulators sent here. Finally got our rocket ready to go. Um... I'll still wait to manually launch. Also, I'm tempted to wait on the capsules. Rocket control units are trickling through. But we need a hundred of them for each capsule. Uh, what about capsules from the rail network? We still haven't received any. I guess that's not that surprising, considering we need a huge delivery of iron to get batteries, and then... Let's bump up the priority. Fifteen. And... Iron plate over here. Priority. Fifteen. And I'll make sure that was actually the priority for the, the request priority we changed. Alright. Uh, pipe and pipe. We also need some... A not trivial amount of storage tanks. Uh, I guess we can handcraft those pretty easily. Whoa, no, no logistics. What do we need?
Uh, only four? Really? That's a little bit surprising. So much for the iron and steel span. I think we need one more steam turbine. Little bits of pipe are missing as well. We need a number of fuel refineries. Ten to be precise. I can make one and then run out of copper, I think. going. Wait, are those logistic bots? Oh, they are logistic bots. Okay. Right then. Let's go grab a bunch of copper and queue up the rest of the fuel refineries. stone brick and glass. Uh, we can handcraft glass, right? No, no we can't. That's not great. I guess that makes sense. So, let's make some glass. And we'll help the bots with the unloading process. Arbitrary ordering. Okay, that should help with just in case the biters break through. Uh, where are our military spiders actually? Oh, they're right here. Fantastic. Let's have them hang out here. And. Place those furnaces. I don't think we need any more wall. Um, wait. Why am I making stone break? I didn't mean to do that. Uh, glass requires sand, actually. And I remember one machine being more than fast. Actually, we can prod this, can't we? Glass. getting frozen. Uh, where should I put this? Two tiles down. Let's just not worry about it. I 
We're not going to need a whole lot of glass anyway. What were we making glass for again? Was it refineries? Yeah, it was. 20 per refinery. We need like 200 total. And we've got 14. Okay. We also need stone brick. Should put that in some chests. We need 20 stone brick per machine. Some glass. There we go. Then. That's the most vital one to build right now. So that should get our... We're missing some underground pipes still. Let's go get them. With more acceleration, please. Also, oh, I do have a RoboPort. That should do it. Let's double check what we're missing here. I should probably put this on my hotbar. Uh, 14 undergrounds and 3 regular pipe, but I'm carrying those. 12 underground, 1 regular pipe. Oh, I think I'm getting confused about my limited range. Yeah, there we go. So now we need just the refineries, and that's really more of a nice to have as opposed to a need. These, on the other hand, need to be replaced. Run out of underground pipe again. We're still handcrafting the refineries, though. Okay. Um... I think I'll have to temporarily... Oh, this is... That was the wrong shortcut. Um... I think I'll have to temporarily not request nuclear fuel. So, remove that. And what's next? Ammo. I think we've got enough ammo for now. Until we get this launch done, I need to lower the expectations for some of these. Uh, let's see. Just five. And... Actually... Let me just make a backup of the settings that I want to change it back to. And we'll lower our requests for this stuff. That just leaves the cargo rocket sections, which uh, we've got 36 stacked. That's more than enough to send a rocket back, plus 54. That's like two rockets. 
Except I know we've got a million uh, cargo rocket sections back here. So that should be no trouble to load up. Okay. Um, kind of want to add repair packs and rockets to this arrangement. I would love to come up with a way to do this that doesn't need a combinator for a, a pair of combinators for every different resource. If we have a generic set of... If we have a generic target for every different item, it's very easy. Come to think of it, I think I've done the same thing with a uh, train station. Uh, the ones that we use to supply our walls, whereby there's a default of... 50 items of any given thing that we're asking for, but we can offset it. Uh, I don't think... I don't think this station is still intact. There should be a constant combinator that has like negative 150 stone wall. Each less than or equal to negative 50 output each input count. Multiply all the stuff we want by negative 1. Each less than 0 output each input count. Get a positive number for everything that's in the logistic network that we that we add to that, and then I think I just changed it so that so that the threshold for delivering any item is fifty here. That might be unfortunate. I might not have my old work to refer to uh, to do this again. But I think I can figure it out. But yeah, I think uh, I'm creeping towards an idea for... I wouldn't say the final version of a system to use cargo rockets to deliver lots of different things. But certainly a system that I wouldn't mind having whatsoever. I could just put everything that we're supposed to have on one or a few constant combinators. And we could have a specific... We could have an arbitrary target for every resource, and then offset that target for specific resources. Um, but for now, let's just keep it simple. Uh, we want repair packs. Say 2,000. Uh, the threshold... Let's say if we get below 200 repair packs, we want a delivery. So that would be 1800. If negative 2000 plus whatever we've actually got, negative 1800. Output input count. Okay, pack. And the other one was rockets, wasn't it? Uh, let's say same numbers. Rockets and rocket and rocket. Now, if we 
connect this up. We should see those requests appearing over here. Fantastic. Although, I don't see the request for rockets. Oh, we already have the rockets, I think. That's why. 531. Yeah, so if we... If we steal these rockets, for example... I think the bots just put them back faster than I was able to... Alright, let's grab these again. And then, back to Narvis. We can see the request for rockets. Cool. In that case, I might have our military spiders. Request 800 rockets. Uh, what's the color here? It might be easier to change this. 800 rockets. This is very hard to aim at. Let's just copy most of these for now. Missing equipment? Wait, what? One of our Spidertrons apparently has no equipment. Probably a good idea to sort that out. Right then. Uh, let's see. I'm kind of drawing a blank on what I'm supposed to be doing right now. Too much has happened. I need some stone and glass to make the refineries. I can make one. Fantastic. Let's grab some copper. Went too far. Portable RTG, personal battery. Am I not carrying personal batteries? Oh, it just made me use them. Okay, cool. So all of these should have quests for rockets now. Let's bring them back over here. And have the logistic bots sort them out. Fantastic. And we're just 80 rockets short. Right, so we skipped out on sending fuel and media defense ammo for now. Please tell me the spiders did uh, the biters didn't destroy the ammo. Okay, we're good. And I think that just about does it. We need six, I've got four. Okay. I should definitely put this back. How's Tullaby doing? It's probably something I forgot to update there. We're missing a whole lot of storage tanks. Oh, we're missing a lot of things. Offshore pumps, storage tanks, substations, combinators, a radar. 
That's kind of a lot. Did we get... Somehow this Robocort isn't powered? What? Oh, it's on that power switch. Okay. I think we'll get rid of the power switch. And... Do we have an accumulator handy? Probably not. Uh, I could just connect it like so. That doesn't actually reach, does it? Uh, okay. I guess I could have connected it a lot closer. Now then. Can't get that to reach. Wait, what's on this? I can't connect to that one. Uh, can I bring this down here? Yes. Pick a dollies for the win. Okay, and we're just going to say accumulator charge has to be at maximum to let things through this belt. I guess that would take a little while to wind down, actually. So let's do it like this. That was a mistake. Whatever I undid, I didn't want to do it. Because it did not undo the belts. Uh, that should be fine. Now, I wonder what I undid, though. That's it. Okay, cool. So now we've got... Power up here again. Fantastic. Did we get our... Big electric motors? And we needed big electric motors because we needed a single delivery cannon. So that we could get rid of the stone. I did the same thing yesterday, tried to undo something, but it did something else. Yeah. It's terrifying when it does a mystery undo. Also, we're not backed up on... We should probably productivity module our Vulcanite blocks here. Apparently this is not set up chemical plants. There we go. And we're still struggling with steel. I thought I connected an iron my Oh, I didn't power it. My bad. We don't have medium poles here. I think we've run out of substations too. Because they were supposed to be placed down here. Uh, we probably have everything we need to make substations. Probably. Substation. Copper cable, advanced circuit concrete steel. Advanced circuit concrete steel. And we can't prod this. So 
substation. We're only ever going to need a few at a time. That inserter is not keeping up. That's more like it. And there we go. What else are we missing here? A couple of turbines. Some lights I don't care about. Offshore pumps are very important. And... Wait, when does this use a decider combinator? Oh, because we're... That's... I was trying to... I was trying to do something different here. I don't know if I ever got that working the way I intended. I don't think adding a latch system to this has that much of an effect either. I think it's better if we just don't bother with that part. I'll use the blueprint. We don't want the constant combinator there. And we did want it here, but it's too late. We need... Uh, fluid storage. Why don't we do it here? Actually, no. That's already got what we need. Should be a passive provider. Okay. Are there no enemies in your playthrough? On this planet there are not because we removed them all. Although actually, yeah, there it is. Uh, what we learned the hard way on our most recent planet is if you clear them off of this continent and then trim it, the bite has actually come back. Um, we did the same thing on uh, Tolibai, this very small planet, except luckily we're on an island. So all of this was still explored so the biters didn't reappear but yeah there's a bunch of uh biter spawns that have reappeared here that shouldn't have i forget they can't normally swim across water yeah uh did i get the fuel refineries i need here I need two more one more Zero more. Fantastic. Let's stand here until it's done. And then... Back to Tolibai. Uh, check what we still need here. Just a couple of... Turbines, which isn't that big a deal. The pumps are way more important. Uh, so. And I guess we could make a couple of turbines as well. Actually, if we have crafting combinators here, which it looks like we don't, this would be the perfect opportunity to use that, um, I suppose we could make some. Yeah, next time we're doing something like this, I think I'll, I'll use the auto crafter. Uh, so, steam turbine, 
Do we have all of this stuff? We do not. We've actually run out of gears. And productivity modules. What was the other thing? Small electric is automated here. We've run out of copper, I believe. Actually, I'm surprised we don't run out of cable. I think that's automated somewhere. Copper plate, though. Apparently not. Oh, we're making... Fantastic. That's something, at least. We can eventually start... Okay, we have started. We've got a gradual flow of uh, uranium again. I think I had another planet that we got for uranium specifically. Uh, let's check. Yeah, here it is. Lothar. Uh, this is another planet that we trimmed, but luckily I'm pretty sure we found no biters on this island that's in the middle of it. Now. I am slightly concerned by the fact that none of this is powered. So many planets? Yes, indeed. Chronic, welcome, welcome. Uh... Young Jesus, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. So, I decided to run. How have we not finished landfilling this? Uh, I decided to run this planet off of nuclear power, except we are getting the nuclear power from items delivered via cannon, except. This is going to be the majority of nuclear power that's coming, uh, of uranium that's coming in. Wait a sec, we've got some uranium production here. Why is this... Okay, I think... I think what we're going to have to do here, at least for now, is disconnect the media defense installations. Do we not have bots here? It joking. We do have a construction spider that's looking a bit confused. Why are the bots hovering around it? Is it full? It is full. That's might be bad. Uh, we have a logistic network with, for some reason, only 16 logistic bots. Alright, they're going to empty the... ...stone and coal, at least. And did we get rid of that? Yes, okay. So we should be... Don't tell me Coverex never got stuck. No, we've got a bunch of uranium here. We've got uranium fuel set. They don't go anywhere yet. Oh my god, that's embarrassing. But at least it's very easy to fix. Uh, do we have some red chests? Yes. But all of the construction bots are in the construction spider for some reason. Um, I could change your logistic requests, and then, and then, and then, uh, 
let's move this out of the way. Filter insert uh, goes here. Request a chest goes here. We're going to read bot statistics. And available logistic bots. You know, I don't know why I'm doing this. I've got so few bots here that we should just put them all in. Um, but apparently we don't have... Apparently we don't have any requester chests left. Really? That's surprising. Um... Can we steal them from somewhere? Kind of. Do we have green chests? No. Ah, uh, that's a little surprising. Out of logistic network. Oh, because there's no power. How do we solve this without going there? Um, okay, we're just gonna shove the bots into the logistic uh, network like this. And why do we have no power still? We've got an umbrella, that can't help. I need to disconnect power-hungry things until... Okay, it doesn't help that the sun is going down. Hey, Felka. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, Lobo69, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well also. Pink pajamas, you too. I legitimately didn't know you could change the signals for the RoboBot bot stats. Well, you can. And if you're so inclined, it can save you some circuitry and stuff. Uh, if you put, for example, a requester chest here, it's going to request bots and bots. Put a filter inserter here. Connect it to the RoboPort. And you can change these symbols to... You could use available or total, depending on what you want, but let's say we're going to only put bots in when we need more of them. That way we know that this isn't going to be full, and we're not going to fill it up with just logistic bots or something. Uh, so we're going to set filters blacklist. So if there are any logistic bots available, we're not going to pick those up. If there are any construction bots available, we're going to not pick those up. And that allows you to accomplish what you'd normally do with two different chests and inserters here. Um, I think that's a little bit neat. Uh, there was something I wanted to look at on Polybi before we get back to that other problem. We needed iron gear wheels here, and we need copper plate to be placed into the logistic network. Um, yeah. okay, Let's wait for that to get there, so we don't have to remember. Just one stack, up a plate. Don't know if we've got something similar for steel or not. Considering I don't see any steel here, uh, maybe we should do something about that.
this part of this belt is full all the time now, so that's promising. Oh, but... Yeah, no, that's that's actually looking pretty good. Okay. Let's add the same thing here, but for steel. Actually, I can... Do it like this. Oh, and the bots arrived. But that would have been one way I could get that all queued up without having to remember it. Um, so small electric requires iron gear wheel, which we should put into storage. Steam turbine equals zero. I don't want to build too many of these. Okay, that'll be fine. Uh, did we finish here? I think so. So that just leaves replacing the core mining drills. Why do we... oh. Helps if you turn this combinator on. So let's request a few accumulators and core mining drills over here. And then back to, uh, I believe it was Lothar, yes. We've got not a whole lot of power, but enough to do stuff now at least. So what was I doing? I was trying to get... It seems like my... I was going to say it seems like my Coverex design is wrong, but we do have Uranium-235 all the way back to here, so it can't be that bad. Who knows if it'll keep going indefinitely. Uh, we do need to power this. What we really need is... Let's get rid of this, bring it down here, and put it on the same power network as our too expensive for now media defense installations. We're going to need to extend... no, the robots should be able to get that done. We also need to make sure... This RoboPort is still charging. Okay. So now we've got some uranium fuel. Uh, we should have logistic bots able to bring the fuel to the reactors. And we can finally get this whole thing going. It's outside of the robo network, isn't it? Uh, let's put you over here. If we've got a spare robo port, fantastic. And there, there they go. And also the construction bots heading over to continue building this. Fantastic. But more importantly, for now. Very slowly putting in the nuclear fuel. And here comes the last one. Now, I don't think I actually did set up a supply chain to bring uranium here from Nalvis. So, Temporarily, we're running off of this 2 million uranium ore uh, in order to make our uranium fuel cells. And I would imagine by the amount of 238 that we had here that this coverex system that I set up is good enough. But 
I was actually going to say but something else, except it turns out we've got no room here to output the 238 onto this belt. Okay, let's... I think this is working. Let's check. So we've got a whole bunch of 238 and very rarely some 235 that comes in here. We've got outputs for the whole thing that only work when the given resource is absent from this chest. And we've got this centrifuge doing coverix feeds into this centrifuge doing coverix and vice versa. Yeah, that seems to be... Oh, and we've got negative uh, 39, negative 4, so that we have extra. I guess we didn't need the constant combinator because we've got specific... Uh, we can put a constant here. So basically there has to be uh, 40 uranium-235 in here before this will output 235. And, uh, five uranium. So enough for a recipe, in other words. Um, but yeah, that... Apart from not needing the constant combinator, because we have room for constants here, that's actually a pretty good design. Even if I say so. We're also spitting out our... Uh, uranium fuel cells here. How many have we got? Quite a lot. This might be too slow. But more to the point, we've got steam. Fantastic. And let's get... We don't have any more medium poles here. Can we reach them? Yes, and... Good enough. Okay. So that should be Lothar fully operational. And the way it's set up, it'll run until we run out of 2 million uranium. At which point we'll have to set up Nalvis to return some of the uranium uh, that we send back to Lothar, uh, back to Nalvis as uranium core fragments. Um, after processing, we could do the processing here. We did that on Tolibai. It gets very complicated and messy and eventually jams. Uh, it's rather difficult to design particularly well. We still don't have our uh, delivery cannon. We're still missing big electric motors. We're missing small electric motors because we're missing iron plate. I guess we don't have a Consistent input for that. Easily remedied. Why is there an underground here? Okay. That should resolve that. Uh, I guess we've resolved our iron input issues as well. Let's prioritize the input from the core fragments, which are looking a bit slow at the moment. Oh, that's why. Oh, that's why. Okay. That'll fix that. In order to fix this wiring, I would have to deconstruct this belt. 
the bots would pick up all of the uranium core fragments and then I'd have to get them to put them back somewhere. I don't really feel like doing that. Uh, so, there's our iron. And we should now hopefully get the small electric motors, which means we'll get the big electric motors, which means we'll finally, finally get our single delivery cannon that we want to add to this planet. Refueling this rocket's looking pretty good. Oh, I should get over there before it automatically goes home. I don't know if I changed that yet. Launch on cargo full. I did not. Okay. So we've got a little while if we want to ride this back when it's ready. Uh, have I... Oh, I think this is actually more logistic parts than... It's fine. Actually, no, it's not. We should take the remainder and leave only 50. 47, that'll do. Uh, make it 50. There we go. So what else? Take this scrap back. Uh, we don't need this laying around. Cliff explosives can stay. I'll leave this stuff. Spiders can stay this time. Even though I think we've figured out what the deal with the biters was. Uh, we need some core mining drills to come here. Can we get this thing done before we... You know what, just to be safe, let me change this back to manual. Uh, it seems we've finished loading this. We've got a lot of cargo rocket sections. No capsules? How many capsules do we have in the... Only two. I guess it can wait until we have ready to bring the rest. Uh... Perpex, ammo, emulators. Yeah, I think that's fine for now. And we are aimed at Morpheus, good. Let's bring that over. Would have been pretty embarrassing if I jumped in this rocket and came home without placing the rest of the core mining drills. And it should be here in a few seconds. And then we can get the other half, almost, of these core fragments. Oh no. That's unfortunate. At least it's all in the robo network already. Please don't tell me we lost any core mining drills. What's that research called? Uh, rocket survivability. Reduces the chances the rockets get damaged in transit. Let's go for a couple of more of those. I don't know exactly how much science we've got backed up. I'm seeing a moderate amount of the relevant science pack, but I don't think these two researches are going to get done. Uh, what are we waiting on here? Insights... Oh, it's jammed. It's actually not a resource input problem. We've got the same problem that we fixed for, I believe it was material science packs, by having the um, blank data cards go all the way back up here. So I guess let's... Uh,
continue in that tradition. Where's our spiders? Come on down. And this goes here. Does it work if I... Yes, it does. Fantastic. Okay. So we want our belt of blank data cards that are a side product. Instead of merging back in here, we need it to go all the way back. And this part can just do whatever. Okay, some of those can go. And that should be it. Spooters, do you think? And I'll be curious to see if we get similar jams for the other sciences or not. If I want it to work consistently for all of them, we should just make them all do that now. But judging by... What's wrong with this one? Uh-oh. We've run out of room for junk data cards. How? Because we've... Oh. This again. Not sure how to fix that quickly. But we can at least get the astronomical science packs flowing for a while. Did they just run out of undergrounds? You're kidding. Alright, go back. Actually, this is in the robot network. They will eventually bring the undergrounds here. I'll just put my attention elsewhere for now. Did we pick all of this up? Not even close. Because it's not all in uh, the Robo network. Get the spiders to do it. Is there a filter I can use? I guess. If I just set this to scrap? Maybe. What? I don't think item on ground is going to work for this. It's not. Okay. Just have to do it manually. Alright. Even more scrap. Glad I didn't set this rocket to auto launch. It would have been... Yeah, we've still got some time. And there go our core mining drills, finally. That research didn't take long. Although, I imagine we're going to be running out of... Okay, I think we are going to get a couple of these researches done quite quickly. And that's not counting the fact that we should be able to get more of that research soon. Let's bring you guys back down to... Wait, what? This one is carrying a lot of... This one has... Construction bots. 
Has space underground belt. Has roboports, has power. But we're not placing the space underground belt right now. I think it was dibsed by another bot or something. So that should get our astronomical science packs flowing again. Fantastic. That just leaves the problem of the scrap over here. Which I really don't know what to do about for a permanent solution. Um... seems we... I don't know if it's because... It's not because there were too many blank data cards here. We can't get rid of the broken data cards because they turn into scrap here and the uh, junk data cards are blocking them. Hmm. I think think perhaps this won't solve it it might help a little bit I guess we could put would allow this to go either way. That would maybe not help. Alright, let's just bring the spiders over here for now. And back to our planet of focus. Pick this up. Did we get everything we need here? I don't know how much stuff we're missing. We got the core mining drills at least. Uh, we probably got maybe enough accumulators to fill all of these out. I don't recall exploring over that way. Did not want to see those biters. Unfortunate. Probably the radar that I added over here. Yeah, I think it's doing a big square scan. Okay. I think, unless I think of anything else. But now I'm just going to park myself in this rocket. And... We're going to go home at the earliest convenience. Let's have a look at Lothar again. Lothar is sending uranium core fragments back to Nalvis at a pretty good pace. So hopefully we can actually get, uh, now that we've fixed both of the uranium core fragment planets, um, we can hopefully actually get, uh, the nuclear fuel that we need to fuel some certain other outposts. We can definitely remove this now. And set that to launch on cargo full. Perfect. Oh, sorry. Launch on green signal. And just double check. We're not sending a green signal right now. We are, actually. That doesn't seem right. We're only asking for 2,000 repair packs. Wait, how many repair packs are in the system? Only 176. Okay, uh, shut up and take my repair packs. Okay, maybe not that many. Let's 
not what I meant to do. But that should get rid of that green signal. Fantastic. Okay. And I think we'll change these settings back to what they were before. So we're going to wait until we load quite a lot of each of these resources. Before we bother to send a rocket automatically. Let's get back in here before we lose our ride. And... Pick this up again. The rest is good. Fantastic. Lullaby is looking better. Anything missing here? Uh, offshore pumps. Did we not automate those yet? I don't think we did. I think they might require small electric. Did we get our big electric motors? Not yet. Why didn't we get our big electric motors? Oh, we are just... We've actually got 13 here already, the bots just haven't picked them up yet. So maybe we didn't set this request? We did not set this request. Okay then. Also, there's a whole bunch of small electric in here we should probably remove. Uh, what was I trying to make here? Pumps. Offshore pumps. We definitely can't productivity that. And I think deleting this for now. So that we take some of those small electric motors back into the network is the way to go. Actually, we can just turn it into a green chest for now. Fantastic. What about pipes? We've got some pipes. Don't know how... if we have them automated somewhere or not. Let's resolve that as well. Can't see anywhere I can steal from. Are we still looking for these? Two, two more to go. All right. Actually, if I'm going to set up one type of pipe, I should set up both. underground pipe, and there we go. Oh, that next tier of rocket survivability just finished. I think we'll keep sticking it to this until it, it gets very slow. Now then, uh, pipe less than, let's say, 100. And make it a thousand. And underground pipe less than 500. And then do we not have iron on the way here? It says we do. Why is it taking so long? Is this it? Fantastic.
Okay. So we do have some underground pipe, but I don't think we have regular pipe. Now then. Anything else we're missing that we don't have automated? Just a couple of solar panels and a radar I don't care about. Um, fantastic. So that is... That gives us more than enough power already. For the stuff that we added. And here. Yeah. Should probably add a few more of these to make sure we don't run out of iron anytime soon. And we're still, we still don't have that delivery cannon. Uh, but we do have the, oh, products finished one. We did it. Fantastic. I think I'll leave that running so we don't have that problem in the future. And there it is. Uh, so. Do we have a... I don't s oh, here it is. Stone goes here. Also, these other things that we're not putting here, actually. I was going to just remove these three, but... Yeah, I think I will, because I think I remember coming to the conclusion that... Um, we can't actually do more than one resource here. because I made a mistake setting up these multi-loaders. Could be wrong. Oh, it's because of the belts, not any circuitry. We need a loop on the belts to make that work. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so stone goes here. Um, let's see, stone... Nervous goes here. And I hope we're not overdoing uh whoops. I hope we're not overdoing the amount of capsules that we need to produce by adding that. Uh we also need to add that. We do not send the stone unless rusted. So that should go green as soon as... Wait, what? Oh, I didn't add stone to the whitelist over here. I don't think. Yeah. Okay. Stone. And it should launch right after I do that. Oh. Hey, Shaka. Good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good news, everyone. The science is flowing again. Yes, indeed. And speaking of things flowing, uh, in another 17 and a bit stacks, we're about to be flowing back to Nalvis. And hopefully not crash landing, because I haven't, uh, I haven't really put something in place to deal with that. At least not automatically. Did we already, I think we already set up the processing for barrel core fragments, didn't we? Yep, there it is. Fantastic. 
Let's add our symbol for that there. And I, he I, I hesitate to say, but it seems like at least until something like this finally breaks again, uh, we've finally got an infinite supply coming in indefinitely of all the relevant core fragments. This one runs on cannons. Yeah, that's right. What are we missing? Nothing. Oh, we're not sending this because we're full on cryonite? Wow. That's good. That's very good. And delivery cannons never mess up, I believe. Uh, it's only on Morpheus that we're doing this with cargo rockets. Where is it? Cryonite? Yep. It's not even in motion anymore. Uh, what was the next one? We've got... Holmanite? Running the same way. Uh, but with two whole cannons and only one core fragment. It's also stopped moving because we've completely filled all of this and processed all the Holmanite. Uh, uranium, we need a lot more of. But that's because it was stopped for a long time. I do suspect that the way we've got it set up now, we're actually going to have enough uranium for everything. Uh, what else? We've got... We haven't done these big planets. Lothar is sending us uranium. Very frequently, actually. Each one of those flashes is a hundred uh, uranium core fragments, which doesn't in doesn't turn into as much uranium as we'd like. But that was a bit violent. Destroyed cargo pod. Rip. At least it didn't destroy anything here. Maybe if we're going to run things on cargo rockets like this, um, I should use an entire rail block and have roboports with repair packs and put the uh, cargo landing pad in the middle. This is also already pretty far from anything terribly valuable. So, I think for now we'll just see how it goes. But for a standardized uh, blueprint for this, I might just have a lonely cargo rocket silo, uh, cargo landing pad in the middle of um, an entire rail block. Right, so once this gets to 16k. Train's going to come and pick up our core fragments, and then it's going to take it on a very long trip all the way over here, and, and then we're going to get that sweet, sweet barrel. Uh, we haven't actually done the production chain for barrel yet, for beryllium plate. I wonder if it's going to be extremely similar to uh, holmium... Iridium or beryllium. So here's the shape of holmium, and I believe it was iridium that we copy pasted that and changed it a bit. It did also require vulcanite blocks, but other than that, it was pretty straightforward. Um. Holmium, though, there's some other processing that we do here, since we have room. And then, Cryonite was a bit different. Mm. Wasn't there one other thing that was shaped like this, or had we not done it yet?
I thought we had a third resource that was already shaped like this. Alright, let's have a look. So, is the first step crushing it? For beryllium. Crushed barrel. Pulverizer. One second, two for the input. So far it's the same. Do we wash it? Beryllium sulfate. Requires crushed barrel and sulfuric acid. It does happen in a chemical plant. And spits out one beryllium, 50% sand, one water, and takes two seconds. As opposed to... 25% stone, one second. Uh, okay. And didn't the other version of this recycle the water? A little bit? Or at least, cryonite does. What about iridium? One second, 50% washed iridite, 50% iridium powder, and so on. Uh, let's see. Crushed, 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 crushed. Washed. Well, I could have moused over these, that would have been easier. So there's sort of, like... I don't want to say variations on the same recipe. They kind of are. Yeah, beryllium's the last one. Okay, tentatively we're going to copy-paste this layout, uh, and we'll see where that goes. Since the beryllium is right here, and we've got an empty block right here, we'll give the trains the shortest trip possible. Let's get rid of the constant combinators that are going to press things. I need to update this... Uh, the remotes back to the locals. Where's my speedy spider? There's my construction spiders. Let's bring them down here. And where is my good boy? I thought I left it close to the... up oh, there it is. Alright, you'll be coming to me first. Beryllium uses a liquid, as in it turns into a liquid as part of its processing. Interesting. But now we're just going to see how much of this we can build in the same shape. So that is... Beryllium? A oh, barrel, rather. UPS is crying. And what two resources are we going to need? We're already going to need water and sulfuric acid, which is exactly what happened up here. Which one did I copy-paste? Was it Okay, they're both water and sulfuric acid. We'll see which one's more convenient. I don't suppose we're going to need any beads for this one. Since we already used... Uh, where is it? Where's the recipe that uses beads? Oh, it's the powder. Yeah, there it is. Iridium powder uses anion ion exchange beads. And holmium powder uses cation ion exchange beads. And I don't think there's another type of bead. Beryllium powder uses... It's just fluid in. Beryllium hydroxide. And it spits out powder and water. So this stuff... 
I think the beads was where we needed the sulfuric acid. I don't think we're going to need sulfuric acid this time, are we? We'll see. I hope that UPS is just a temporary dip. Uh, somewhat. It depends what we're doing. Uh, okay, so... Barrel, crushed barrel, spits out. Spits out crushed barrel. This part goes crushed, becomes something else. Uh... And this is the powder. Barrel powder. The belts and stuff are obviously going to be a different shape, but we'll see how we go for some other things. Uh, let's see. Beryllium hydroxide. That we're gonna the the output fluid has to go somewhere. And we're probably not gonna need anything like this. I'm probably making it more complicated by starting with this much. I think we'll probably keep the position of the smelters. I have a feeling the ratio is going to be very similar. We'll get rid of all of this on the left. Since we're not going to need anything like the beads. Um, what takes crushed as an input? This one? Oh, we do need sulfuric acid. There we go. Okay. So crushed barrel and sulfuric acid in... Beryllium sulfate and sand. Where are we putting sand on? Here it is. Sand goes here. Wait, what? Oh, right. Yeah, sand gets filtered out to this train station. So it's... Beryllium sulfate here. Sand goes here. And then... Water needs to come out of here, if we're going to use this pipe. Uh, what's the next step, and what does that look like? Beryllium hydroxide. Wait, we haven't seen the recipe for beryllium hydroxide yet. Chemical plant. We need cryonite rods, water, and beryllium sulfate. And it requires 50 and takes 30 seconds. Rocket survivability. Let's continue. It's getting a bit expensive, to say the least. Uh, we'll keep going until it gets considerably slow. I think this thing is jammed, finally. What are we missing here? Coal, actually. Okay, then. We're just waiting on... We're just waiting on coal to be delivered back to all of it, which is... should be happening relatively soon. Relatively soon. 
I had no idea we were struggling that much with coal now. I don't suppose there's any coal mines left here. Seems we've gobbled them all up. There's a coal mine here, but it's... It's actually 1.7 million. Uh, we've got an obscene amount of coal stored here as well. Although this circuit is a bit weird. Can't remember where this is actually going. Uh, nowhere, apparently. Did I remove that on purpose, or... I don't think so. Alright. Let's fix that. That research completion noise tricked me into looking at my own game. Happens to me all the time. Black up. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, but yeah, I was thinking I could take that coal mine and point it at the rail instead. Here's 261,000 that we're just not using. Um, should probably get onto that, but I want to keep designing for now. So, where does beryllium hydroxide? We need beryllium sulfate, cryonite, and water. If we turn this this way, we can have the water come in from this one, although it wouldn't be a lot of water. But we could do something about that. Uh, let's just remove these. The new guy TV. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. How much power are you generating slash using on Nalvis? Uh, eight gigawatts. And a little bit of a little bit of spare change. Uh, that is in the middle of the day as well. Nice, thank you. Yeah, we've got a few of these uh, nuclear power plants. Uh, one, two... It's kind of hard to count them. One, two, three, four... Five, six. Um, we've iterated on the design slightly. But the main thing is that each of these is eight nuclear reactors with uh, 16 blocks of uh, 7 to 12 heat exchanges to steam turbines. And there's also a bit of power management in there so we don't burn all of the fuel uh, just to get these heat pipes up to 999 degrees and start wasting it. Some of these nuclear reactors I don't actually have fuel management for, but considering the ends of this is, the end of that was only 501 degrees, it's probably fine. Although that is because we're not uh, massively overproducing. Okay. Now let's just get rid of all of this clutter. And it's going to be a bit easier to clear our heads and design this bit. We can, also, we can always uh, copy it back if we need to. So... It seems like everything here is going to be... Where did... Why did my bots not pick up any of those chemical plants? Um... Where can I find one? Oops. Chemical plants. Okay. I have a better idea. Chemical... 
plant. So, step one, brushes. Step two, uh, not iridite, beryllium. Beryllium sulfate requires the crushed barrel plus sulfuric acid. Um, maybe we could shape it like this. And direct insert it. Uh, and then that outputs not a whole lot. Maybe we'll need more than one machine doing this at this time. The next step is... What's our output? Sulfate. So we take the sulfate and turn it into hydroxide uh, by adding a little bit of cryonite and a lot of water. A zavoxifol. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Second row, third from right. Second row, third from right. How many boilers are on the one pipe slash how long is it? Oh, for the nuclear? Uh, I've kept them as isolated as possible. Um, so there's seven boilers and twelve uh, steam turbines. Plus a couple... Oh, I guess they connect up to the other side. Um, but that's only if we've got steam left over after all of this. Oh, the heat pipe? Yeah, the heat pipe uh, just goes, like, shortest possible path. Or at least the shortest pipe I could... Shortest path I could come up with. Surprised you don't have a great deal more beryllium production already. Uh, beryllium's the last resource that we just secured after we twice cleared out the biters on this uh, continent. And we actually had to go interstellar for it, but we don't have technology better than uh, delivery cannons and cargo rockets still. So we have to use cargo rockets to bring this back which required a whole set of problem solving that I had been procrastinating with the automated supply via cargo rocket of several different things without um, sending a mostly empty rocket. Um, but if you're just filling the rocket and sending it automatically, that's actually really easy. Interstellar? Yeah, it's... Uh, uh, Let's see. Here is our home star. This is Nalvis. Uh, if we leave that, down here is Angelus. And that's the only planet Angelus has, Morpheus. I believe that's the only one we've found with... Okay, I stand... Cor oh, that's a asteroid belt. Yeah, this is the only planet we've found with... Uh, beryllium core fragments. Of course we could set up um, mining the asteroid belt, but I don't like, I don't particularly want to go to the effort for a temporary fix. Uh, we can do that when we want to boost, but the first thing I want to set up is the infinite supply. Can you turn on the resource display for the star map? Resource display for the star map. Resource display? Is this it? Stone button on the nav GUI. Okay. Oh, oh that helps. Nice. I can't see it on the stars, but that would probably be just too much information. Okay. So, there you go. 
Why is that a little taller by? There it is. I thought there was another planet that we could call mine for uranium if we really want to. Up oh, there it is, Rampart. It has... Uh, it's actually really small. It's kind of like another Tolibai, um, which would definitely be worth hitting up for more core fragments. 905 versus 1643. Uh, this time I would not be setting up the supply chain that does all of the core fragment processing here and eventually runs into trouble. It's much, much, much simpler to send the core fragments back to Nalvis and deal with them there. But yeah, we've got uh, Smoldering Ocean Saturated Thicket Exotic Smooth. A radius of 1643, it's not going to take too long to clear out the biters. Solar power is pretty good, we could probably run off of that. And that would give us uh, just a few more uranium core fragments. Since there's diminishing returns on each planet for core, fragment, uh, core mining. Also, every additional planet that we core mine uh, gives us more regular core fragments. Which translates to more of the basics like iron and copper. Have you found all moons? I would imagine so, in this system at least. Very long nights there though, needs a lot of accumulators, I didn't notice that. That's one stat I keep overlooking. Um, but yeah, we have... We did have to stop streaming for like half an hour earlier because uh, there was a thunderstorm and we lost power. But we've gone that much overtime now. Also, my brain is kind of running on empty um, for designing something like this right now. So I think it's about time we look for a string for raid. Let's see what we've got going on. Um, lots of not English. Probably end up defaulting to one of our familiar faces. AI television. This is like a bot plays Factorio. Oh, it's been a minute since we raided Seek Death. Let's do that. Thank you all for watching, do take care, and I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord or the Blueprints if you're interested. If you have any uh, questions or anything, by all means, let me know. And until next time, do take care. Bye, T-Hex, thanks for the stream, thanks for hanging out. Take care, guys. Alright, this is going to be hell on my...